A synchrotron light source is a road research facility that has applications in physics, chemistry, material science, pharmaceutical industry, archaeology. This kind of machine are very much oversubscribed, so the users uh, the, and the university the, the, in the Middle East are forced to go to the European facilities or to the American facilities. So there was a need to provide a local machine to cater for the, the need of the users locally. The idea to build Sesame was conceived in 1998 under UNESCO, who really thought that building a synchrotron light source in the Middle East will help bring people together. Sesame is a synchrotron light laboratory, which means that we are using an accelerator to produce uh, light, which has characteristics which you cannot achieve with other means. Sesame is a center of excellence, a state-of-the-art research facility based on uh, synchrotron radiation, where electrons are accelerated to 2.5 giga electron volts and used for scientific research. It started in 1999 with the idea to build such type of facility in the Middle East. This idea was very concrete in 2002 under the great uh, auspices of UNESCO. Sesame is located in Jordan, in Alan, northwest of the capital Amman. Sesame stands for Synchrotron Light for Experimental Science and Applications in the Middle East. Sesame enjoyed a lot of support from the international synchrotron scientific community who supervised and worked with the scientists from the region to redesign and build the machine. The staff at Sesame has the need of being able to cope with different and a broader spectrum of problems, technical problems, than what's normally happening in other light sources. So they are engineering and physicists which have been trained in the past years and they have certainly benefited from the help of many light sources in Europe. There's a number of programs just for training where we send the people to those facilities in order for them to compare what they do at Sesame with what we do in the European facilities. I had an opportunity to visit Soleil, another facility in France. They are already running, so I had the opportunity to have some interaction with people who are already doing this kind of job at similar facilities to this one. Scientists and PhD students, postdocs from within Sesame countries can have free access to Sesame and we have already opened it. The first group was involved in studies on archaeological samples. In particular, they studied bones and teeth coming from excavations in Cyprus. With synchrotron radiation, they were able to identify a type of diet. These type of experiments cannot be done without synchrotron radiation this particular type. Each year we are allowing the platform for all the scientists to be engaged with the Sesame stuff and to get to visit Sesame and to see the beam lines and the topics to be considered for future research. And this is the main umbrella for us to engage the scientists from all over the world to be with us in Sesame. Sesame selects the experimental proposal on a competitive manner. So we collect proposals, there is a bid and there is a panel which, an international panel which review the proposals. If the proposal is good, there is no question of nationality. We can accept proposals from uh, outside the Middle East as well as from uh, the member countries. I came to Sesame because Sesame gives the opportunity to help and also develop research in the, in the region here. I have the duties to support users from different places in the region and also carry my own research where I looked at uh, sediments and toxic elements in soils. Sesame is fulfilling my personal view about uh, not only science but also our human nature. We are using science as a neutral language that uh, we can produce uh, something useful for our societies as well as proceeding with our human nature, accepting each other and moving together towards just one goal. 
we are operating now two beam lines, the X-ray fluorescence and the infrared beam line. We are shortly going to finish the construction of a material science beam line. We are working also on a macromolecular crystallography beam line, and we have got a generous grant from EU of around 7 million euros to construct a tomography beam line, and also the Helmholtz Society from Germany will generously donate funds to construct additional beam lines. Sesame will have a great positive impact on promoting the culture of advanced scientific research in the region, to promote a culture of scientific excellence, and to allow scientists within the region to really work with their peers from other synchrotron facilities globally. It will definitely raise the level of scientific research within the region to a totally new level of excellence, science that can be read and published in the most prestigious scientific journals around the globe.